Alright, so it's been a while, but I'm back. So what I'm planning on doing today is I think we're going to work on doing one mod, and that's resurfacing the head to get a better uh, uh, connection between the head and the gasket and the cylinder wall, or the block. And another thing I want to do, the big, the big thing is um, taking a lot of the external parts, um, not necessarily, not like the internal ones, but the external ones, and start cleaning them up and painting them. Just because um, I can't get um, the things that I need to do, the mods like um, lapping the valves until like Monday, so that'll be on update um, number six. So yeah, we're gonna basically focus on doing that, all the external parts and getting them all looking nice. Doesn't really matter what order you do stuff in, as long as it gets done. So to resurface this head, this will kind of be a how-to tutorial inside of this update here, but what I did is I took this um, 120, no, I'm sorry, 220 grit sandpaper, and I taped it down with some packaging tape right there, and I tried to get it as flat and make sure there's no, like, bumps or anything, waves, it's all uh, nice and flat, and what we'll do is take the head, We'll set it on there, maybe put like like oil or WD-40. We'll kind of slide it back and forth just to kind of make it like a new surface on the head. I mean, because you can see on the head there's like residue of the old gasket on there. I can see there's kind of a corrosion in some places, but we'll just make it like a new surface so there's um, more compression. It's not going to do a lot, but it'll help. Okay, so I got a new piece of sandpaper now. I sprayed, I sprayed some WD-40 on the actual surface. We're gonna see how this works. I even did the top part up there around the edges here just because I wanted just you know because I wanted to just as a comparison there's the first one that hasn't been done and there's the second one it's kinda hard to get this I don't know why but it was kinda hard to get that piece of gasket off there but I didn't want to do it too much and see there, there's a lot more crap. I'm gonna do that one now. I also did the side where the intake manifold hooks to. Um, and it's kinda right there too. On the other head. The other head is done. You can see that. Well actually this is the first one, but whatever. So I did this surface right here, I did, of course I did that surface, and I did this one on both of them. So I think they're all ready, well not, I still have to clean them, and I actually got a question for you guys. One of the modifications that I was going to do to this was to port the intake passage that goes to the intake valve. And now that I look at it, it really isn't that bad. I mean, it's nice and smooth. I mean, it's almost as smooth as the outside where I resurfaced it. So I might just need to like clean it out or something. So what do you guys think? Do you think I should um, still port those with like really fine steel wool or something? I don't know, you tell me in the comments. Okay, now it's time to start painting these parts. I'm just going to keep taking some 
parts out, cleaning them up, and um, got my little painting station here. And I got the welder somewhat covered up. I got all my primed pieces right here. All of them I just primed. Now we just gotta wait for them to dry. These are taking a long time to dry. Because it's 52 degrees in here. So, kinda sucks. Alright, so I got one of the valve covers painted, and this one cover here. The other valve cover isn't painted though yet, so. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I've got all the pieces painted. Just had them primed before, but that one I gotta redo, obviously. For some reason, off white. It always does that, even if you clean it and prime it as hard as you can. So I'm going to do it a different color. And plus, I think the white's a little bit old, so. So that uh, made that go up a little bit. Okay, so another thing I, uh, I'm going to do in between updates here is I'm going to build a soda blaster. Redneck Computer Geek wanted me to make one because it's really useful for getting the carbon off of heads or just cleaning up any metal, make it look brand new. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this jug here. This is going to have the baking soda in it. This tube is going to be put down into it like that and then it's going to be attached to some straight, something straight and harder than it is so it sits down not like a bend, but it sits down in there straight. And then there'll be a little breather tube also. And then that'll come out. The other end, of course it won't be this long, but the other end, I'm going to have one of those um, air chucks, you know, where you blow stuff around, blow stuff off. It's going to go, the nozzle, the end of that is going to go into here, like that, and then sealed up. So when air pushes this way it drags air and baking soda with it and it blasts whatever you're trying to blast. Mm -hmm.